the development of Las Vegas was tied closely to the Hoover Dam. The construction of this monument on the border between Arizona and Nevada was the first step for the city in the desert. Between 1931 and 1935, a total of 21,000 people were involved with the construction. The workers were welcome guests in Las Vegas and made gambling and entertainment bloom like never before. Even today, Hoover Dam is still a fascinating example of engineering. As a historic landmark, it is one of the tourist attractions of the USA. We were curious, and so the Balforum 24 TV team made an excursion to the Hoover Dam, where we met Jeff Tilton from the Bureau of Reclamation for an interview, who gave us a great video tour of the facility. Hoover Dam is 726 feet tall. At its base, it is 660 feet thick, so nearly as thick as it is tall. And that's important because it's holding back the largest man-made lake in the world, or in the United States at least. Uh, a lake that can hold enough water to cover the state of Pennsylvania one foot deep. Lake Mead stretches 115 miles all the way to the Grand Canyon and has 550 miles of shoreline. The Hoover Dam created the man-made lake called Lake Mead. Besides its function as a reservoir, Lake Mead is used as a recreational area by the citizens of Las Vegas and Boulder City. In terms of reliability, the, the generators themselves are incredibly reliable. The water flows through the intake towers into the turbines for electrical power generation. The first electrical power was produced on October 26, 1936, with 22,000 gallons of water run through every turbine every second. The turbines rotate with 180 revolutions per minute. The shafts, you can see here, are 65 feet tall and 38 inches in diameter. They transmit the rotation to the generators above, each of them producing about 130,000 kilowatts of electrical power. The problem is we don't have enough water. So we only produce over a yearly average at about 30% of capacity. We send the same amount of water downstream every year and we produce as much power as we can off every drop of water. But water is the key limitation. Remember, the focus of Hoover Dam really was water for irrigation for agriculture in Southern California. Power was a byproduct. It pays all of our bills, and we're very happy to have it, but it wasn't the first concern. People think that Hoover Dam powers Las Vegas. It doesn't. Last year, Las Vegas got less than 4% of the power we produced at Hoover Dam. We are a peaking power plant. We assist, but nobody relies on Hoover Dam for daily power. Las Vegas actually has its own coal-fired natural gas plants for their power. Now, on the other hand, 90% of the water they use in Las Vegas comes from Lake Mead. There's an urban legend that many people have that they believe there are bodies buried in the dam. There are not. If you had left bodies in the concrete, would have left voids or holes. The structural engineers never would have allowed it. In the dam itself, there are 3.25 million cubic yards of concrete in the dam. That's enough to build a two-lane highway from San Francisco to New York. U.S. Highway 93 is the direct connection between Phoenix and Las Vegas. The crest of Hoover Dam serves as a crossing over the Colorado River. The one-lane road often leads to traffic jams. Furthermore, since 9-11, the dam is closed for heavy trucks. Due to these ongoing traffic problems, the Hoover Dam bypass is now under construction and is supposed to be finished by 2010. The men were paid a minimum of 50 cents an hour. Now today, that sounds like a pittance. At the time, it was double the national average. Now, a single guy would get, based on that 50 cents an hour, $4 a day. Out of that, six companies would take out $1.60. That covered his room, his lodging, and his board, three meals a day, all he could eat. So for a single guy in the Depression, it was heaven. He had $2.40 in his pocket to do with whatever he wished. It's no surprise that construction was begun and gambling was legalized in Las Vegas the exact same year, 1931. A lot of people believe it really was the kickoff, the boom for Las Vegas. Without Hoover Dam and Lake Mead, Las Vegas simply wouldn't exist.
Balfourum 24 TV. Construction in motion. www.balfourum24.tv